Alright, pressing the live button in 3, 2, 1. And we are live again. Okay, guys, hopefully, the this time. Yeah, hopefully the technical issues are resolved. Again, let me know uh, if that's the case. Okay, let's wait for chat to um, actually inform us. Hi, everyone. Seems to be working better now. That's, that's great to hear, Marky. It's lagging again. On my preview, it's fine. Yeah. See, Marky, I think this time uh, you are the one with the, uh, with the bad internet. <laughs> Yeah, it's fine for me. All right, well... Uh, oh, oh, we've got some spoilers over there. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's not the highest quality this time, but it works, and I think that's all that counts. Hey, 240 or 2040p is better than uh, nothing, right? Alright, that, that's that's good to hear, Marky, that it's working now. Is that King Koopa from Super Mario Bros. Super Show? Maybe. King Koopa. Mayhaps. 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 Oh. But yeah, I think the issues are uh, resolved for now. Oh, oh it's 360p? Oh, that, that's even better than 240p. Oh, yeah, we're, we're getting treated here, guys. Yeah, yeah, guys, soon we can go up to 4K. <laughs> Remember the 240p stream, truly, truly times. Yeah, uh, uh, see, this is innovation. We have increasing quality. Okay, um, let's go on, real guys. Yeah, yeah. let's go on. So, first off, finally... we, first off, we have all good old friendly dinosaur from Super Mario World, Yoshi. So this is, I'm gonna keep brief because we already saw Yoshi in the All-Star team since, I believe, Snapshot 5. So, uh, yeah, he was a pretty early addition in V8. So you all are probably already familiar with him. Uh, but there are some things in the Super Mario World version that I can show off, like the Gift Yoshi X. So these are great since Easter is coming up. Uh, oh, and uh, I forgot, Yoshi Colors. Yoshi was in V7, but Yoshi Colors are entirely new to V8. So let's grab this shell right here. The red Yoshi will turn any shell color into flames. The blue Yoshi, or uh, I guess the yellow Yoshi first, the yellow Yoshi will create earthquakes when you land on the ground. Then we have the Blue Yoshi. Blue Yoshi lets you fly. Pretty straightforward. Then last up we have the Bombshell Yoshi, which is the Black Yoshi. When you have a shell in its mouth... Oh, I uh, messed up pretty better. <laughs> when you have a shell in its mouth, you can uh, do a bomb stomp off of it by bouncing on enemies. So, I'm going to do it one more time for fun. Oh yeah, that, 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 that's so fun, that's so uh, entertaining. <laughs> oh, let me pop up the chat again. You can eat Yoshi with Yoshi? Yeah, you can eat Yoshi with Yoshi. In fact, you can eat Yoshi with Yoshi with Yoshi. With Yoshi. With Yoshi. Amazing feature, right? What do you think, TFD? Um, it's quite formidable, sir. Actually, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna go uh, spit them all out again, <laughs> because that'll just take too long. Let's hop back on our green Yoshi, and we will go forward. So Yoshi can slide in Super Mario World, of course. 
You can do that in SMAS. We also have the Yoshi sign returning from V7, or should I say the anti Yoshi sign, because yeah, this sign basically blocks Yoshi from surpassing. You can edit the sign to um, face the other direction as well. You can even increase the size in the editor. But yeah, try as you might, Yoshi is not getting through this. Final feature I want to show off with Yoshi in Super Mario World. The pepper has got a new ability. It can now be eaten by Yoshi and guess what? Yoshi can, set, uh, Yoshi can just spit fire now. <laughs> so this will damage... Finally, has yeah. more than one pepper, pepper has a use case outside of the King Boo fight. Hello Speed Snow, welcome to the stream. Just showing off Yoshi burning his mouth here with Pepper. <laughs> and you push Yoshi through. Um, it is possible to push Yoshi through with like moving pipes and such, but when the pipe retracts again, Yoshi will be pulled back to the side of the fence. Or the sign, I mean. But yeah, we gotta leave Yoshi behind here. See you, Yoshi. You're not allowed in the castle for some reason. And yeah, we have the Snapshots main event, of course. It's King Koopa, or Bowser. And as you might be able to tell, he's got a new sprite entirely from uh, his V7 days. This, this one, I believe, uh, is, well, it's made by Smirk, but I believe it does a much better job at giving it that Super Mario World-esque feel. Than the old one did. The old one had really long legs, <laughs> right, Steve? D? Yeah, yeah, that was a bit of a um, work of <laughs> proper spiders. Yeah, much like the spike spider. But yeah, so, um, oh yeah, go ahead. Don't you show off uh, all of its attacks? Because, well, it's still the old ones, but they're a bit different. Well, slightly. Yeah, we'll go over the entire menu. So first up, you can have Bowser drop an item, pretty self-explanatory since this was in V7 as well. Uh, you got HP mode, so V7 had a great out mode option uh, and V8 does as well. Since we do plan to add a SMB3 option as well uh, in the future, not in V8 probably, but like a future major update. And the SMB3 mode, of course, um, it jumps around and jumps onto blocks, which are then destroyed. Uh, the undefeated action, this is also from V7. And uh, yeah, you can, you can have the level clear or walk to the nearest NPC. This is great for like uh, cutscenes when you uh, when Bowser is defeated and you walk to a double top princess at the end. Speed and jump strength, uh, also pretty self-explanatory. So the walking mode... Oh, go ahead. We have a really good question, which is, is there new music? Because... Uh... Oh, 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 yes, there is new music. What, what, what was the question specifically? Is there new music? That's the entire question. And that's, that's the answer, entire question. That's the answer, yes. 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 Should, should we reveal the the new the new great great thing uh, Joy-Con made yesterday? At the end, I propose we show it off. Okay, at the end. Yes, that's fair. So back to Bowser, we got walking mode. Uh, this is an entirely new version or new option, I mean, in V8. So we have stay put. So this makes Bowser uh, well stay put. Uh, this area. You won't walk or move in any way, as you can see. Then we have Patrol Area. This is great for the traditional bridge boss battles, like you have Bowser on a bridge that can be collapsed, because it ensures Bowser stays on that bridge and doesn't go off uh, or too far away from it. Also, Bowser won't fall off cliffs in this mode. Well, not intentionally, uh, at least. <laughs> then we have the last option, which is walk to the player. So this Bowser 
mode actively chases the player. So it will go off the bridge if the player goes, goes away from it. As you can see, we can go all the way to this area and Bowser will eventually catch up to us. Whereas in the patrol area mode, he will just stay around this area. Right back, we're going to go on to the attack category. First up, you have minimum attacks before jumping. This is from V7 as well. A new option in V8, the chance of jumping after minimum jumps. So uh, Bowser is able to jump, which lets the player sneakily pass under him and go move, move over to the axe if there is one. Uh, but before Bowser has to do that, or before Bowser can jump, he first has to do the set amount of minimum attacks that you can customize. Uh, and after that, this will be the chance after every attack he will have of jumping. So in V7 it was always 50%, I believe. But here you can customize it. Of course, 0% will never make Bowser jump at all. And 100% basically guarantees a jump. Attack speed is another new option. You can have it be slow, medium or fast. And auto increase, which uh, as you might expect, will make uh, the attack speed increase automatically every time Bowser gets damaged. Moving on to the attacks. Unless you have any more questions. Let me take a peek at the chat. Uh, I don't see any uh, relevant no questions. questions. Okay, then no, I don't see any relevant one right now. Okay, so first up we have... Three attacks. Yes, on three attacks. First up we have the Spew Flame attack. This one is probably uh, the most iconic since it has been there since SMB1. Uh, you, you can, uh, in V7, you could have it enabled or disabled. Here you have a lot more options. You can, uh, of course, enable it, but also edit the frequency it appears in the attack cycle. Much like King Boo. You can also edit the amount of projectiles fired. So now, for example, Bowser will fire at least five flames. Now we will fire just one. Now three, uh, yeah, and so on. And then we have extra random projectiles. So from zero to this number, that will be added on top of the base projectile count. So in this setting, Bowser could spit three to five projectiles. And this, of course, just adds a bit, bit of randomness to your fight. Moving on, we have the blaze in hammers. Let's turn it on. But show of the attacks uh, individually as well. So. Let's have Bowser throw four hammers with two uh, additional random hammers. We already have some relevant questions this time. Um, how many fireballs does it take for uh, Bowser to take damage? Five fireballs, exactly. Okay, here we have it. Five. Five fireballs, And yes. is there a limit to the attack speed? Is there a limit to the attack speed? Um, What do you mean by limit? Like the animation speed? Uh, if so, yes. <laughs> fastest is really uh, the fastest option right now. Uh, I think he means uh, the just the general editor set limit. What do you, what do you mean by that? Uh, whether there is a limit set in editor and frequency, like a number limit. You mean the amount of projectiles that he throws? Um, Lario's question was, is there a limit to the attack speed? Like, that that's the question here. Yeah, you have a slow, medium and fast. Not sure of the fast attack. It's, it's actually quite fast. Okay, there we have it then. Um... Like in comparison to the slow attack. Yeah. No new attacks, I believe. It was just the uh, old ones, but with some upgrades. Oh, no new attacks, you say? We'll see about that. What is it? We'll see about that. Next up, we have... Um, yeah, you, you've seen the Blazing Hammers, right? It got a new sprite. I'll let you look at them one more time. Pretty cool, honestly, I'd say. It looks like a meteor falling down. Let's 
Let's turn it off and move on to our final attack for now. It's the wand, wand magic, the mecha wand. So this will spawn mecha kubas. Just like it did in V7. So this is an option um, if you want, if, like you can have uh, an axe of course, but if you want to destroy Bowser with his own attacks, you can enable this option. Oh, whoops. Mecha wand. Mecha wand. Yeah, you can enable this and he will spawn Mecha Koopas, which can throw back at Bowser. Oh, okay. Um, small problem, we have, it's currently bugged, I've noticed. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll have to figure that out uh, after the stream. But you are normally able to throw these Makakubas back at him and he will take some damage. He is impervious. There we go, Shell Impervious. So why would, why would Bowser barrage you with stuff that can hurt him? So like, maybe he just got smarter. You know, uh, I can ask that question about, like, almost any video game boss. But <laughs> they always uh, end up taking themselves down with their own attacks. But yeah, that's Bowser's attacks. Uh, as you can see, you, you have a lot more options in comparison to V7. Uh, let's move on. Let's disable these and go back to the regular... Uh, Flames since it's a shorter attack. Next up we have the intro animations. So first off we have Bowser jump from below. Then comes my probably my favorite. And Bowser is set to spawn other enemies. So this entry animation has Bowser come flying from the top with his clown car and then drop onto the arena. I really, really love it, honestly. Definitely my favorite animation. Uh, we, there's a question. Oh, oh can sorry, Bowser sorry. Spawn other enemies. Can, can Bowser spawn other enemies? Uh, no, not at the moment. Just smack it with us. Yes, guys. Intro animations, yes. Yes, just like in Boo. Also, just like in Boo, we have a faker animation. Which was shown in. Teaser? Yeah, you might recognize this if, uh, from the teaser, uh, and some guessed it was one of the intro animations. And to you all, you are correct. It is indeed an intro animation. Uh, next up, we have a enemy disguise. So in SMB1, if you kill Bowser, he will... Uh, before World 8, at least, he will turn into an enemy at the end. This is because it's not actually Bowser, it's an enemy disguise as Bowser. So, for example, I can set the disguise, disguise to Buzzy Beetle. And you and disguise Bowser as Bowser. Yes, oh, I, hold on, I have to actually... Uh... <laughs> Here we go. That's another thing I'll, I'll have to look into, uh, because that's not intended to happen. <laughs> the, the, the enemy disappears. And yeah, Bowser transforms into a Buzzy Beetle on defeat. So your available options are these enemies currently. Uh, the first, all these are from SMB1, then these last three are from Lost Levels. Just have some Lost Levels representation. And we have the music. So this is basically, basically the same as Boom Boom and King Boo's menu. You have music that, um, that starts when the boss, boss battle begins and then ends. Lastly, for now, we have a Bowser palette. So this is Bowser's brother, as it's called. It's actually real, by the way. You can look it up on Mario Wiki. And this is a blue slash green-esque palette for Bowser which throws green fire or spits green fire and throws green hammers doesn't do anything special uh, no 
Yeah, no, it, it's just a palette swap, but, uh, palette swap, but, you know, it does look quite pretty. It's double the options we seven had, so... Yeah, it's, it's double the bowsers. And of course, Take it up. of course, uh, you have all the same options for bowsers, bowsers border, it's just a palette. And yeah, that's Bowser in a nutshell. So shall we move on? Um, yeah. So I don't I, see. I don't. I'm gonna exit out Super Mario World. And ooh, what do we have here? Let's see, I, I, I think there's a, a bit of a delay <laughs> between uh, the stream and chat. Yeah, no people are seeing it. It's Smash King Boo, everyone! Yes, he's finally in. He's been spotted by B, or new spider. And he has made his debut in Smash Super Mario Bros. 1. Maybe let, let's go directly to his uh, new attack, like the one we specifically made for him. Yeah, sure. So all, all the options are the same as in Super Mario World, except one, and that is one of the attacks. And that is called Magic Bottles. So and what do the bottles contain, LB? Yeah, that's a good question. Let's find out. Yeah. Just jump into uh, the game, I would say. I'm gonna, uh, just so I don't die, just gonna enable invincibility. <laughs> Actually, I may have uh, forgot something. Yeah, I have to turn it on. Let's turn off the other attacks really quick, because that's just wasting time. <laughs> you know how all these attacks work, except this one. Yeah, it's Wanda from Mario and Wario, that's right. So, in, in this attack, King Boo spits out three bottles. Two will contain fire, one of them will contain a fairy, and the fairy is no other than Wanda. So you can jump on, her, on the bottle, and this will cause Wanda to <laughs> reveal herself, stun King Boo, and then you can jump on his crown. And that will do one one damage to King Boo. Now this, of course, is because well, Mario can't pick up things in this game style, so he couldn't pick up the topper and to throw it back at him. That's why this new attack was added exclusively for Smash. Oh yeah, and uh, Wanda won't won't do his thing. Won't do her thing if King Boo is currently inv invincible, like in his invincibility state, or she'll just fly away. But yeah, that was a King Boo fight with a new attack. Will it be the same in Super Mario World? Uh, no, this is an exclusive attack to Smash. Yes. So, were so, the speculations right? That's so what the one. How, how do you guys like it? How do you damage him if this attack isn't enabled? Uh, well, that's up, up to the level creator. Really? How do you damage him if this attack isn't enabled? Yeah, you could, for example, have Yoshi, uh, which is available in, in Smash in this game style. And you can have a belly box with. A, uh, a belly box that spawns shells, for example, and you can use Yoshi to throw it at King Boo. But if you don't have that, you can enable this attack. Generally, yeah. advice just leave this on, and unless you want like King Boo to be invulnerable or something. Yeah, yeah, it, it's kind of hard to uh, make a King Boo fight in Smash because you can't pick up items. Uh, that's why this attack was. That's exactly why this attack was added. 
Anyway, let's get rid of him because we have another boss in town for Smash. And that is King Bowser. So items pit throne will still hurt him, not it? Yes, yes, any items thrown at King Boo will still hurt him, much like it did in Super Mario World. Alright, moving on to the final major feature. We have Bowser in Smash. So, again, this, this option here, this menu page, is basically the same as in Super Mario World. See for the palette, you got Bowser's board up over here. Attacks. So we have the Spew Flame attack, like we saw earlier. We have Rockin' Hearts. So the Hammer attack works a little bit differently in this game style. As you can see in just a moment. There we go. Instead of throwing them one by one, Bowser will throw Bowser's pretty rapidly all at once. Uh, but the Bowser, uh, or the Hammers aren't, uh, aren't flamey. So you can actually jump on them with Yoshi. And of course they have a smaller hitbox. Then there's the Mecha Wand, which also works the same way as in Super Mario World. Uh, you can't pick up the Mecha Koopas, but you can bounce on them to kick them towards Bowser. So uh, we didn't have the same issue there with King Boo, so that's why this option is still available here. And now comes a really awesome attack, uh, I, in my opinion. It's an attack exclusive to Smash Bowser. And it's the Shell Dash. So when enabled, Bowser will move into his shell and, and wind up and then move left and right. Really. Well, currently it's kind of slow, but we can change that. Because his shell spin speed is influenced by, by the attack speed. So now we set it to fast. Oh, look at this. This can be really, uh, really dangerous if, you're, if you don't have your guards up. There it comes again. Is Smash exclusive tag unreal? Yeah, yeah. And people say we don't care about Smash. Of course we do. Sonic the Koopa. Yeah, Sonic got a rival here, clearly. Oh, uh, can hammers be eaten by Yoshi? Uh, yes, they can. Just like in... Mario Bros. Wii. Oh, that's in Super Mario Construct then. <laughs> well, <laughs> there's a story behind those. <laughs> yeah, they, they were once in, they were added in like, <laughs> yeah, two minutes, or something, like the in. quickest added feature and then <laughs> removed the day. Yeah, you just added them as a, as a joke. You make them a container as well. I think they were on one of the posts, but or even in, we even had a video where like Peach was getting put in the toilet, so like that's fun. Yeah, it was the quickest addition ever, but also the quickest one to be removed. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's go back to Bowser. So Bowser doesn't currently have intro animations in Smash as only one. I guess that's as it's paid off, right? You have the Shell Dash exclusive to Smash SMB1 and the Intro Animations exclusive to Super Mario World. But the disguise, the enemy disguise is available. So you can have Bowser transform into a spiny on the feet. Uh, music, you know what that is. And uh, yeah, that's that's Smash Bowser. Let's see, I'm just gonna fight him uh, just for fun. So you're feeling tough, man. So you think you're tough? Yeah, yeah, I think I'm tough. Actually, I don't, but uh, yeah. Let's see. Uh, let's have... Let's walk to the nearest NPC when we're done. Um, 
We'll have Bowser Wallet for the player, sure. Attack speed, we'll have an auto increase. Mm, and Bowser, this is the real deal, right? No faker. Yeah, no intro animations in the Smash Star. Thank you for saving me, Mario. Here we go. We got the uh, Maka Koopas. The Smash Maka Koopas. Alright, oh, I forgot about that. I still have to uh, fix that. But that's okay, but I can just use something else. Launch factor, move to the right, please. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, Bowser is in the rolling world while he is in his shell. So you actually have to wait for him to exit. You also you can also spin jump on him uh, while he while he is in his shell. Uh, well, not spin jump since spin jump isn't in Smash, but you can bounce on him with Yoshi. Alright, one more hit, one more hit, and he's out. I forgot about that. I actually have that on my to-do list. But uh, yeah, the intro, uh, you can still get take damage while you're walking to the walking to the NPC. Now, my guys, uh, this is not not yet finished. Just showing it off what we have so far. I do, however, want to show off something else. I think is cool. Can Bowser break black brick blocks with his shell dash attack? Yes, he can. Like pretty much, he's basically like he has basically Koopa properties while he's in his shell, so he can break brick blocks and even uh, trigger blocks like on off switches. This is something I wanted to show you. When Bowser is defeated, actually I have to disable the disguise for it to work. And and actually get good. And get good, yes, that's very important. So when Bowser is defeated without the disguise, wait for it. Bam! He will create an explosion or earthquake, which is just a nice, nice quality of life feature, I believe. V7 didn't have that. Woohoo! You saved me again. Oh, and I guess I can also show off the wall to nearest NPC feature working properly. Can gifts be in SB1? Uh, no, gifts are currently Mario World exclusive, uh, Robbie. And there we go. Mario Alex to Peach automatically. That's not me doing it. Woohoo! You saved me again! Yes, Peach, we did. Yeah, there is no spin jump or grabbing in SMB1. So, this plays the. I haven't added the level clear sequence yet, but this plays a special tune when you defeat Bowser in the original Super Mario World. Pretty soothing uh, bit of music, actually. But yeah, and the final build, of course, this will clear the level. Another thing I would like to show off are new updated sprites by Smug. The boss gates have been redesigned. So when the intro animation completes, the boss, fight, the, the boss gates open up and these were re-sprited by Smug to look a little bit better. 
Same goes for the Bowser Bridge, which is now based on the Resnor platforms, as well as the Chains and the X. The X is uh, wooden now, which fits the Super Mario World aesthetic a little better. I got to agree. Does Bowser freeze when you use an ice flower on him? Uh, no, Marky. That, that would be uh, kind of overpowered, I believe. <laughs> Multi-grab feature? Uh, that is planned, yeah, uh, but not sure when that's coming yet. Uh, yeah, let's go back to the smart stuff, the smart stuff level, because I do have some more things to show off. So we do have a new sprite called Snovini, I believe was was the name. Yeah, Snovini. Snovini, yeah. I want to be sure I uh, pronounce it properly. And they have been hard at work making some new smart sprites. So first up we have the spike top. Which looks really nice, probably my favorite sprite uh, that has been added to snapshot for the smart team. And it works the same way as Super Mario World, except Spikes here, the spike tops here don't have a turn frame. In Super Mario World, they will, like, when they reach a corner, they will slowly peek towards the bottom there and then turn later. Here, they just do it in sleep because it fits much more. Uh, we have more, of course. We have Rex. So, Rex come in squishy forms and non squished forms. And these were, uh, these were actually designed by B, but sprited by Novini. I kind of like them, honestly. It's a, uh, it's a unique design. Right, let's get rid of this, uh, this stupid spawner. <laughs> so we can actually look at them properly. Yeah, they, they look really, really goofy, I like that. So it fits the team of Smalls as number one, where... Uh, where they hadn't figured out the, the style of, this, of how they wanted the, their designs to look like. Also, Super Mario World, it started evolving a lot faster, but uh, yeah, back in the day, the designs were still very, very backy. Much like, much like Smash Yoshi, which is also based on the beta design. Will tools like the dropper and multi select be in the newest snapshot? Uh, no, there aren't any editor tools added in the snapshot. We really wanted to get the, the big features out of the way, like Yoshi, uh, Bowser, and of course Ingbu. So, those were all three pretty big features, so it wasn't a lot of time to add anything else. Let's go back to Wallwalker, since we have Smash Hothead and Smash Bucky. I really like it's the... Finally, uh, getting some parity up in here. Yes, we, we have been uh, taking parity more seriously, because... Smash does look like a lot of stuff in comparison to Super Mario World. So that's why we've been focusing on Smash a lot as well. Yeah. We have Hothead and Little Sparky. I really like the plasma effects on Hothead here, also made by Novini. And then we have uh, we saw Smash Makakupa, which Novini finished his part for just a few hours ago. So I haven't really implemented them yet. Of course, they will be available in the Smash editor as well. That's, that's all the Smash enemies so far, right? Did I miss any? Uh, I think you got all, yeah. I think that's for all of them. Actually, I can just check this course.
Yeah, that, that's that's all of them. All right, thanks. We have uh, any questions? Sparky's are cute. Yeah, they are cute. I think Hot Hat is kind of cute as well. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's just okay. less cute. Plasma maybe. based. Yeah, plasma. Oh yeah, you can place the bottles individually as well. So like, you can have uh, magic bottles come out of a body box near King Boo, if you want to. Pepsi bottle, Coca-Cola glass, I don't give a damn. This ain't Coca-Cola, this is magic. Same difference. No, no actually, uh, this, this is cola here, this right here, cursed bottle. Yeah, it, it, it's just uh, acid with some sugar, and that turns into a flame. Yeah, I'm willing to bet this is uh, this is this is less cursed than cola even. Is there a plan to add an alternate sprite to Smash Stone and Super Mario World Wait that makes them look like the other? Mm, I don't think Nitro has any plans for that. I think that the reason they are different is just a visual flair to have game styles have some uniqueness to them. That's what I'm saying. Let's see, I'm scrolling back the chat since uh, I didn't look at the whole thing. But yeah, TFD, should we uh, drop the drop the news? If you get what I'm yeah, yeah, just just um, let them hear the music. I would say, like, just let it play for about a minute or something, just as a tease. But I, I really hope that we can get it like all the new things we have, like on YouTube as soon as possible. Alright, I'm, uh, I'm gonna go back to the title screen in three. Two, one. You guys ready? It's our own title screen song, made by Joy-Con. I'll let you guys listen to it. I'll be quiet. And that's a loop. So let me go. Let me know how you guys like it. Yeah, um, I really hope to get like the full song, like maybe the coming week, like on YouTube, so we can like you can hear the thing uh, in all its glory and clean. <laughs> that you say the current week because that's tomorrow. Beta 24 title screen was very laggy. Uh, I think the lag is gone because I did update some stuff. Yeah, yeah, it was basically, uh, it still used the old laggy palette system. Yeah, but those are gone now. Yes. Uh, 
Um, let's wait for some more question and then I assume uh, we can leave things off to the sure. QA built on Discord. Another uh, Yatoshi track, I will have to know that. By the way, we also got a new uh, editor team, which you probably already may have noticed that. It's basically a remix of the title team. It's called Borders at work, by the way. <laughs> I really love that name. And then the, the editor team is called Borders at Home. Do they also act like the machine Cooper shells? Oh yeah, they do, uh, Cooper. Press catch. What do the other colors of letters do if Joshi eats them? Uh, the same thing as the shells do, really. So green does nothing. Silver is a towel. The blue letters make Joshi fly. The other letters give Joshi the ground storm, like Metal Mario does. And the red letters, fire. Just fire. Unfortunately, no black letters. No black letters, unfortunately, no. Those aren't in the logo. So no bomb stomping uh, on the title screen. But maybe in a in a team's update, like the next Halloween, maybe we can have black letters? I don't know. The 8th full version then? Mm, I still can't say that yet, but we are getting close to where we can start predicting. Will this be the default instead of the SMRPG music? Yeah. Yes, yes. Although the, the SMB, SMRPG music is still an option. Same for creative exercise. But I mean, why, why would you want to play it when you have like this new absolute bop which bops about 20 times harder than anything else we've had thus far? <laughs> Jericon has been uh, doing a really good job at least uh, composing for SMC over the past few, what has been weeks, maybe even months? Oh yeah, we should show off his other new songs as well. Isn't it too many? Like, uh, we can just leave those for people who are doing the QA build and the full snapshot. Oh, and I just, I just added. Can upload it. I just added two songs: one for Mario World and the other for the Smash. Yeah, yeah but we, we can just leave those for the QA build, right? It's fine, fine. Otherwise, we'll, we're sitting here another quite ten minutes. Yeah, uh, is that a problem? <laughs> Uh, I mean, there should there should be some time left open for the QA though. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know. I'm just I'm just uh, messing. Where's the change jump? Right, right. Uh, the change jump yeah. was part of the uh, beta 24 title screen. Every every snapshot uh, there is like some some little touch-ups to the title screen exclusive to that snapshot. Just to highlight what's been added. Um, yeah. The change jump was added last snapshot. Uh, this snapshot adds Yoshi. So that's why we have Goshi here. Otherwise, in 20, in 20 updates from now, we'll have a chunk full uh, little Timmy level title screen. Yeah, and then it will really start to lag. <laughs> Are um, any of the music tracks marked with an X going to be added in the snapshot? Uh, no plans at the moment. Is that in the background? Oh, it's just been in for quite a while.
there we go. Turn down the music uh, a bit again so I can answer more questions if you have any. No, it's not the final snapshot before V9. Far from it. We still have a long while to go. <laughs> Are the rest of the power-ups gonna be added? Yes. Of course, not all in one snapshot, uh, they'll be coming over time. But we will be uh, bringing more attention to power-ups coming back. Yeah, all in due time, but there's a lot to be done for that as well, since we uh, might have to do some touch-up here and there. Yeah. Also, not sure uh, if Smash SB1 will get every power up from the 7 uh, The Super Mario World game style will, but power ups take a lot of time to uh, sprite, you know, because there's so much animations. But there will be some power ups coming to Smash, that's for sure. Yeah, and 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 uh, we uh, do have to like be nice to our uh, spriters in the basement. Like yes, you gotta yes. be nice to your hostages. We've got, to, we've got to respect those spiders. Has the level share square synchronization feature been changed in any way? Uh, just a bug fix, but otherwise it acts the same. I am recording the release date. Um, yeah, it is not known yet, of course. It's, it'll be when it's finished, basically. But give your estimates, Ollie. When do you think uh, it's about finished within a week, right? Unless something pops up. Uh, yeah, the snapshot should be coming out sometime next week. Yes. Yeah. Are we so getting... before April. Oh, go ahead. Ah, uh, oh, um. Now you go ahead. Okay. Uh, zoned out ash. Are we getting any new game styles? Perhaps Super Mario Land or Super Mario Land 2? Uh, we get this question a lot, uh, but the answer is definitely not in version 8. Uh, there might be SMP 3 in the future sometime, but uh, that's that's not guaranteed. Yeah, it, it's really not any promises. It, it's so much work, and there's so much other stuff that has to be done. Yeah, because uh, there, there's so much content, right? So when we add a new snapshot, there has to be sprites for so much stuff. It's really a, a massive test. That's why the priorities are really just return stuff from uh, V7, polish it up, and after that, it's get the big stuff in. And more uh, informed that roadmap will be once V8 is finished, which will still be a while. Yes. Are you planning to add cakes to V8? Hmm. I think we are. Right, TV? Oh, right, yes, the cake was a lie. Yes. You know, it should be the last addition to V8. Yeah, yeah it's, it's definitely just going to be the absolute last one, a cake. <laughs> the last feature of V8 is just a cake. But what if we add something to the cake, hmm? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that would be mm. interesting. Interesting. Oh, yeah. Uh, no marquee, no new languages this time. But the GitHub repo for uh, this snapshot will constantly be updated, so uh, people can make uh, keep making their contributions. I'm not sure if the shell attack comes to my world, so at least not anytime soon. You know, because these kind of differences are kind of what sets game styles apart from each other, right? Alright, see ya, Speed Snow. It's Yes, it's a QA build. But it'll be, uh, of course, on Discord again this time. So make sure to join the SMC Discord. Uh, 
I wonder when we'll start getting minigames. Hmm. With LSS uh, integration, they should not be too far away, Maki, but uh, it likely will be still some snapshots from now on. We do want the minigame dealer boards to use LSS instead of the uh, uh, like V V7 minigames dealer boards. Yeah, that's just been a quickie, uh, a, a tricky thing to design as far as sins. Missions are difficult when it comes to that stuff. Like, how do how do you check whether your clear is legitimate or not? Oh, smirk, you come right in time. That's right, we do have a tall set to, uh, that got a makeover. It's a sewer, so let's create a new map really quick. Uh, it can be one screen, sure. Oh, yeah, I got a nice bit of makeup, like... It might be a sewer, it might smell like shit, but hey, you can always <laughs> throw perfume on. Yeah, you know, if it's if something smells, just just throw perfume on, and you got it fixed. Um, don't go for showers, guys. Just just throw perfume on yourself. I'm sure everybody will love it. So the sewer uh, got a new the sewer tunnel got a new texture. You can see the inner tiles, especially, have uh, been improved. There have also been some new tiles, like uh, some new pipes, I've got the pipe ends here. They're just cute baby pipes, I love them. This is also new, and this is just scenery by the way, uh, all of it is just scenery. These two tiles are also new, just some variety. These corner tiles are also new, and we have this tile, which is also new. Uh, is there anything else? I think that was everything, but uh, if there is, you can if there's anything I missed, uh, you can just see it here. Uh, there's also two new palettes. We got this beautiful blue whitish palette, and this uh, red palette, this brown reddish palette. Which I really like, uh, honestly. There have there haven't been many red palettes in the uh, in the game style here, so having another red one is really nice. I don't know what's going on here, but somehow I will, people think it's the 14th of April somehow. What's with the fourth of Everybody's April? just gaslighting each other into a, a specific release date or something. It will come out before that, so don't worry. You don't have to wait that long. Yeah, yeah. Really, really just uh, somewhere next week. Oh yeah, the new file tiles. So these are... Uh, you, you, you already had the waterfall tiles in previous snapshots, but these five tiles are new. These are great for creating uh, waterfalls that are coming out of pipes. For example, um, you can have... Actually, this is a real... Uh, let me go grab a more appropriate tile. Place it in layer 2. And now I can, for example, place the small tile in front. And there we go, we got uh, any colored water out of this... Uh, we can, you can have any colored water out of, coming out of this sewer tile. The sewer tile of course only has the default water and the default poison water because of palette lip limitations, but that issue has been solved with these small tiles. And these are also available for lava.
I love it when pee comes out of sewer drains. Yeah, I love it, right? Is this the output? I don't know. Whatever, let, let's try it with um, poison. I'll have to look at it uh, in just a moment. Good job, Actually, LB. Yeah, I, I don't know why, uh, why this is happening, but uh, remember guys, it's not yet finished, okay? It's, uh, I, I can... Uh, for all the bugs happening here, they will probably be fixed in the release snapshot. Seven has a conspiracy theory that you're trying to mass generate cobblestone. Yeah, we're adding cobblestone generators. What would SMC be without being super Minecraft? Oh no, Mario, you messed up the cobblestone generator. Oh no, Mario. Where's the cobblestone? <laughs> oh no, we're not the cobblestone generator. It's I can, now Obsidian! <laughs> Mamma mia! Mamma mia! Yeah, I'm sorry Smuck, I messed it up. The detail is broken. I messed it up. The, the cobblestone generator. Oh well. Bit worse, you messed up the cobblestone generator. It's okay, guys, I can just create a uh, stone myself. Look. And it's SMC crossing over with Minecraft. Well, uh, Minecraft is crossing over with uh, basically everything at this moment, so. Who knows? Secretly, we've just had uh, SMC V8 finish this whole time, and we're just working on to 10 million game styles in the background now. DFD, why did you reveal our secret? Oh, I'm sorry, was I not supposed to? No, that, 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 that's confidential information. Okay, I'll take it back real quick. Alright, good. No problem. Okay, I think that's uh, enough messing around here. Um, uh, uh, guys, last last round of questions, uh, then we'll wrap up. Yeah, yeah. Let, let's do just a question round and then see. Uh, let's just wrap things up so people can finally test the build out and. Listen to the new title, Scream Music in All Its Glory. <laughs> Can we have Koopa Links, the SMB3 Game Mode, and Super Ball Flower, and all the 7 tall sets, and all the 7 power ups, and Dry Bowser, and build up the next snapshot? Wow, that's so reasonable. Yeah, that's that's quite the suggestion. Um, it's so reasonable. That, that, that takes a really uh, long amount of work. Nah, man, I'm sure he can do it himself, actually. He's hired now. Would freeze left flame Bowser be a future possibility? Maybe. Will Yoshi berries exist in SMC at some point? The thing about those berries was to... Uh, I also saw a question in Discord whether they'll be reworked and stuff and... Uh, it'll come when the time is ready. It's that kind of case. But I don't think they were in V7. So, uh, what for Dragon did V7? It was uh, I don't, really fucking good. Berries were in V7, right? Yoshi berries were not in V7, no. 
Uh, the, yes. the anti Yoshi sign was, but not the bellies. Yeah. So those aren't that high of a priority. Uh, would his flame Bowser be a future possibility? Uh, not sure, but Bowser's brother does have a green fire path in Spyworld and a reddish one in Smash. So, uh, if you're looking for different flames, flame types, uh, yeah, you, you have that option. Oh, Marky, thank you, thank you for the question. That was a very good question, Marky. Okay, next question. I don't even see a question from Marky. Are you guys at the wonderful out to SMC? Surely it's feasible. It should be one of the easiest things to add ever. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, oh, I see. No, my my chat is uh, is a buggy. Yeah, that, that was Marky talking. YouTube has been super buggy lately. No, Marky, Wonder Flowers weren't in V7. When is it coming out? Uh, David asks. Uh, um, next week sometime. Don't have an exact date yet, so. Yeah, but we'll keep you posted on Discord and on the Blue Sky. Make sure to check out the Blue Sky. We post announcements there if you don't have Discord. Let's block the Blue yeah, Blue Sky. and and our uh, own site, of course. Uh, I, I, do we post release dates on the site? I don't think so, right? But, I mean, we can if you want to. That's a lot of announcements. I like the Blue Sky better. Hey guys, let me just quickly plug the blue sky. Here, this is the blue sky. Yeah, the sky wasn't uh, very blue today. There was lots of rain. Although there was some blue skies as well, thankfully. But yet, yeah, that's just me complaining uh, about the weather. <laughs> Yeah, blue sky. You don't need an account. You can just follow whatever updates we post there. It's easy. It's it's like Twitter, except better. You don't need an account. Blah blah blah. I already said that. Yes, Marky. Not everything in V8 was in V7. That's that's correct. I think V8 would be pretty boring if it's just re-adding V7 stuff only, right? Yeah, because we got pallets, yay! Yes, we got pallets. We also give the important info about how we're going to restructure the way snapshots work, or should we just leave it until it's time? Mm, I think we should uh, work that out a little bit more before we reveal stuff. Yeah, okay. That'll be for 26 then. Okay, I, I think uh, we are through all questions at this point, at least all feasible questions, which aren't just uh, things like Koopa links or can you please add? Can you please add uh, N64 game style, Super Mario 64 game style, with all bosses? Mecha Bowser from Ash and Mario Wonder. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, Mecha Bowser is coming this snapshot, yeah, but I'm not sure what the Wonder variant of it is. Uh, I think it's just some machine with a treadmill leading into it, and it does bitey bitey. Mm. I, I'll still have to like watch Wonder in its entirety. It has some cool stuff, but I once again ask about placing the green flames. Uh, you can place the green flames currently at just Bowser, because the, fl the palette is applied by Bowser. Oh, that's a great suggestion, Lario. Can you please add Bowser's entry story to the entire game? Yes, and we will include the uh, Bowser's minions as well. Yeah, let, let's just... Yeah. We're already uh, committing copyright no, no, infringement. No, I, I, Let's I just... 
let's just go all out, you know? Let, let's just add entire games to this game, so you, just to make sure that we get noticed. Superstar got Bowser's Minions, and uh, in Straight Story got Bowser Jr.'s Journey. But we'll add that one too, you know? Wonderflower, uh, they won't, probably won't behave, uh, won't be able to do the same lucky stuff they will do in Wonder, but uh, there have been talks about adding them for scripting. Yeah. I mean, that was one of the first ideas when they were using scripting, like, months ago, I think. But it really just depends. We're still really working on how scripting is gonna work, and that's still really far from the future, so not much that can be revealed about it yet, with certainty. Uh, yes, you can change the uh, uh, frame rate. Well, you can't really change the frame rate because it's it's locked to your display rate, but you can enable frame skipping. Uh, right here, and what frame skipping does, it just um, basically when the game lags, it will skip frames to make up for the lag, and it will basically ensure the game is kept running at the same speed. Uh, it's worth noting that at really low frame rates, the frame skips become so large that collision issues start to occur. So, um, if possible, uh, you may want to keep off for stability. Yeah, we really can't feel much on scripting yet, like, it'll, it'll just have to wait. Yeah, we still have to plan out scripting in its, uh, in its entirety, so <laughs> we ourselves don't know how it's gonna work yet. Is scripting gonna be like events from SMBX? Uh, I'm not sure, I haven't used the events. I have used SMBX before though, but uh, not the event system. Yeah, um, we're at half past ten, so uh, I think it's a good point to leave it off here. Alright, let's go to the title screen one more time, guys. I think we shall be wrapping up the stream. Unless you have anything more to say, uh, I don't think so. Okay, guys, liked if you liked, dislike if you disliked. No, don't uh, dislike. Oh. oh, okay, never mind, oh, guys. Oh, don't like, oh, like oh, oh, Yoshi, Yoshi will come to your house at night and lick you. Okay? But then people want to dislike. Okay, then Yoshi will, I don't know. Hey guys, if you like, if you dislike, then Yoshi will come to your house. How about yeah, that? Yoshi will, will jump uh, into your windows, will fly above you, and then just ground pound into you with the um, with the stomp ability here, which shakes your entire room, causes an earthquake, and yeah, your uh, town is in crumbles. Yeah, uh, okay, guys. Uh, so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was really uh, stupid, but uh, yeah, I think we should. Uh, I think that's the sign we should wrap up this stream. Yeah. Um, um, let me plug the site real quick as well. Hey guys, we have a site. Did you remember we have a site? Like whoever's left probably already knows, but here's a site. Oh, I'm putting it in the chat. Woohoo, that's our site. I'm done talking now. I think we can wrap up now, probably. I don't see the link in chat. Did it uh, come, come through? Oh my god. We really need to switch. One second, I'm just gonna switch. Oh, I'll just post it. No, but this is gonna probably hide because we are you on the LSS account? I don't even know. The chat isn't even showing up for anymore because I switched account and now it's just a black box. Thank you, YouTube. You're great as usual. Yeah, I, I posted it. Guys, check out our site, you can uh, you can play all awesome games. 
as well as uh, including Super Mario Construct, Yoshi's Fabrication Station, and Super Mario 127. And soon also a new game, but uh, that's that's a wrong Ooh. thing. Ooh, I, I think know. a lot of people already know that. <laughs> like it's already on the about page and such. So. Okay. Um. Wrap up. Yes. Um. Bye, oh, guys. Yes, bye, bye. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, Seven wants to do a shameless plug. Uh, you, you, you are allowed to do that, Seven. New video coming tomorrow on Blue Seven's channel. So. Oh yes, guys. Make sure to watch that as well. Check it out if you're interested. These are cool content creator guy. Yeah, he makes really cool videos. Definitely, go check him out. Not as amazing as ours, of course. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, uh, unless I edit the video, uh, my editing sucks. Yeah, uh, yeah okay, but, um, that's, besides, <laughs> but that's besides the point. That's why I don't uh, edit a lot of videos on the channel. Okay, yes. Uh, QA build will announce on Discord, so make sure to head over there. Uh, we'll see you there, but um, that, that's it for me. Uh, bye bye, guys. Now, LB will say bye. LB, say bye. Alright. See ya, everyone. And I will stop the stream in a moment. So, I hope you all have a good rest of your weekend, and I will see you all again soon.